Okay, we have here our stomach model. So this is a model that is showing the wall of the stomach. Our food would be sitting up in the space here. This would be the lumen, and then we're moving through the wall of the stomach to the outside. So our three layers are gonna be mucosa. Uh, we see a nice, simple cuboidal epithelium making up these uh, gastric glands. The openings to the gastric glands are gastric pits. We see some smooth muscle associated with that layer. This is the submucosa, mostly loose connective tissue, but you also see nerves and blood vessels running through it. Uh, then we get our muscular layers, and in the stomach there are three muscular layers. You've got a longitudinal and a circular and an oblique layer throughout here. And then lastly, our third layer, or last layer, our fourth layer, the closest to the surface of that organ, furthest away from the lumen, is our serosa. And that is a simple squamous epithelium and then some loose connective tissue. Uh, the other things that we can see in this are going to be some nerve plexuses. So the nerve plexus that runs through the muscular layer is the myenteric plexus, and it's responsible for movement of the alimentary canal. And there's also a plexus not shown here that runs through the submucosal layer. It's called the submucosal plexus, and it's responsible for controlling secretions.